This one, traditional one from Thai. I got it from my one of my instructors, Master Claudia Master A, way back in the day. Yeah, do it when you're a little bit warmed up. Don't go rush straight into it for obvious reasons. You'll find out in a second. And what I'm going to do is slightly press shoulder width. Yeah, I'm going to reach forward, touch. I'm going to re come up and back. I'm going to turn my hands the other way, reach behind me and touch. Then I'm going to come up. I'm going to push from my hips forwards. I'm going to stretch all the hip flexor and the bits in the groin up canal and the groin area. Yeah, so on a really basic level, so I'm going to go down. I go down, I touch, I come up, I turn, I reach back, I come up, I push my hips forward. So the whole motion looks one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, um, really simple. Yeah, this is near as we'll get to ballistic. It's not actually ballistic, so we're not bouncing back and forward on it. If I was to use a weight just to give you perspective on it, so I'm going down and forward. So, I'm going to reach forward to the edge of this. Yeah, so I'm going to go down, I'm going to go forward, I'm going to come up, then I'm going to reach behind as far as I can, I'm going to come up, and I'm going to push my hips in. Yeah, so I'm going to feel this really gently. One, two, three. I would recommend maybe start with 10, build up to 20. Do when you're a little bit warmed up rather than rushing straight in because obviously your stretching areas, the most of this is not familiar with stretching. One other little extra part to that. So once you've gone here, you go long. What I want you to do is put your hips in the ground, but, but one hip at a time. Right hip, left hip, right hip. Left hip, okay. So from the side, we're just gonna make you look very stupid, but hopefully the point is that you actually get to see oh geez. and the first one we want one, two, and push here. Right, so you will feel it all around your hip and groin. Okay, just don't get sharp pains. So when I've got to here, I've got long, I'm gonna turn my hip in, turn my hip in, turn my hip. In. Good. And then come back, staying nice and low. Third one on this, this general theme. So once I've gone here nice and long, as wide as you can, feet pointing forward. Yeah, so you're keeping nice and steady and balanced in the middle. I want you to go down long, right, as long as as high as you need to be. And then just walk your hands back so that they are parallel with your feet. Okay, smart your pants people, there's some amongst you. You can drop onto your elbows. But for most of you, the primary bit is so you can start to feel in your adductors on the outside edge of your, your hip, the great, the head, the great trochanter. So I'm long and I just walk it back and I just take the weight that I need to. I want to support this weight rather than actually just fall through it because there's a lot of strain going through areas that are unfamiliar with actually being stretched at this point. Bring it back to here. Okay, smart pants onto your elbows and just breathe. Big breath in, long breath out. Shh. Like a balloon deflating. Smug people, once you get comfortable with this, bring the heels up, and then you can go a bit longer and a bit further down. And again, don't bounce with the guys, don't bounce. Just get to a place where you can go, hmm, pleasantly uncomfortable. That's my phrase for it, pleasantly uncomfortable. Good, and then when you come back, walk your heels in. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, right? If you try and pull your leg using your adductors, you will get a bing, which is not a good look. Okay, hope it's useful, guys. Yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know if you'd like any more along these lines. See you in the next one.